In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five hanging options in Infographic Slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have placed the, the rod at the top. And when I click, it will show the first option which comes from the right, uh, sorry, from the left. And you can see here, I have used this kind of uh, thread to hang these options. You can give the option number, the title and the detailed text. And below, I have given some reflection effect. When I click, it will show the second option, the third option, fourth and fifth comes from the right. I have created a few more slides where you can see here I have just, this is just hanging from the rod itself. Okay. And if you want, you can just make it something like this also without the rod. Okay. And this is the, not the dark theme. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background. If you need a dark theme, then go to insert shapes. And from the basic shapes, I'm going to choose this one, which is the teardrop. Draw a small teardrop by holding the shift key shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice i'm going to give yellow and then i'm going to rotate it by holding the alt and the right arrow key you can see here it should come down like this and then you can see the small orange point you can just drag this down so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this all right let me just go to the view and enable the guides and i'll make sure that this is uh, put it in the center exactly in the middle then go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes I'm going to choose this one which is the the left brace or the right brace anything you can take so I'm just going to take one brace like this all right and then you can see here the two small orange point I can just drag this one and here if I drag inside it becomes like this if I drag outside the uh, the design will change like this so let me just take like this all right and shape fill i'm going to give a yellow only shape outline i'll make it no outline and then again alt and the right arrow key just rotate it like this and i'm going to put it in the center again again depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size then go to insert shape select the rectangle draw the rectangle okay shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white let me just zoom in and make sure that it is properly aligned to it all right you can see here it is properly aligned all right so and then go to insert shapes i'm going to add one small oval shape in the center hold the shift key one small oval shape shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give the same yellow color and i'm going to put exactly in the center all right so let me just zoom in i'm going to put it like this and this thing i'm going to connect this with the help of a, a line okay so i'm just going to select like this from here till here hold the shift key so that you get the perfect straight line and shape outline again if you need yellow color if you need white color depending on your requirement maybe i can give white color and I'm going to send this to back. All right. Then let me just right mouse click. Go to the format shape. And I can increase the width of the line. Can you see here? It looks like this. All right. So now if I just move this aside. I got a shape. Looks like this. And then I'm going to make one hole in the on the top part of the teardrop shape. So let me just zoom in and i'm going to insert shape i'm going to select one oval shape draw a small oval shape exactly in the center okay of the teardrop all right and shape outline make it no outline i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one merge shape and subtract so i i got a hole uh, in the center of the the teardrop shape okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one rectangle here at the top. Add one rectangle. Okay. Shape outline again make it no outline. I'm going to select the gradient fill. 
here uh, uh, i have used this uh, before that's the reason it is coming so i'm going to use this one to make it uh, maybe a light color in the center i'm going to make it more darker color or i can make it more kind of a black and you can see here it looks like this again it is more darker so again i can add one more shape where i can be given more white here all right so you can see here it looks kind of a iron rod okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, hang this one with the help of a thread how i'm going to do that one let me just zoom in again and i'm going here go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this one which is the free form scribble just draw like this okay and double click shape outline i'm going to make it white again depending on the requirement if you want to increase the width you can increase the width and then i'm going to tie it with the help of the same uh, shape so i'm going to select this scribble and i'm going to make it a kind of a knot okay this also white color so it looks like this if you want you can send this to back or if you want you can just change according to the requirement okay so it looks like this and this one also i'm going to move it upward let me just bring this down somewhat yeah and this is more up okay so it looks like that it is tied with the help of this thread so now my the shape is ready now what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert text box here i'm going to type 01 that is option one make it bold if you want increase the size again put it in the center then go to insert text box you can add the title again center align make it bold and i'm going to put the title here and below i can insert the text equals lorem within bracket one so it give me some long text i don't want this much text so i'm going to delete a uh, few of the lines from this one maybe till here okay center align reduce the font size i'll reduce further maybe 10.5 and i'm going to put it here okay again depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size of the text okay so once this is done i'm going to select all these objects excluding the rod i'm not going to select that one and i'm going to press ctrl g to group it so i got one shape here then i can go to the uh, the effects i can go to the reflection presets i can just choose any reflection i want you can see here now it's easy for me i'm just going to hold the ctrl shift key and I'm going to add depending on my requirement. You can see here three and four. Maybe so I'll give some gap. So now I can just select these shapes, go to the shape format, align, distribute horizontally. All right. Now, once this is done, I'm going to change this number to two. This is three. This is four and then you can just give any color of your choice you can see here i can give any color depending on the requirement maybe for this one i can choose this one which is the sky blue this also sky blue and here also sky blue all right so like this you can just change the color of the options and once this is done you can add some basic animation to it so let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select these four options and i'm going to select the fly in fly in i'm going to affect options and then i'm going to say from left and then all those things should happen on click and then i'm going to set the speed go to the right mouse click go to the effect options and i can increase the bounce end and timings instead of very fast i'm going to make it fast and if you want smooth start or smooth end that's up to you but let me just go with this so you can see here one two three and four and these two options it should come instead of coming from left it should come from right so i'm going to make it from right 
so now if i play it comes like this one two three and four 